And today's topic is no makeup makeup look, something that is really tricky because no makeup makeup has to be invisible, it has to be as natural as possible, it should look like your real skin. My definition of no makeup makeup look is that makes people wonder, is this person's skin is naturally good or she has a makeup on? And first of all, I want to talk about skincare because when we are talking about no makeup makeup look, we cannot overlook skin because a good skin can really create the natural no makeup makeup look without looking heavy foundation on or concealers on your skin. So the skin, it has to be flawless first or at least a little bit of pigmentations or discolorations are fine. If you're fully covered with a blemish on your face, then it's really hard to create no makeup makeup look. So I'm so sorry for that. If you have a blemish on your skin, please do treat your blemishes first and then you can move on to a no makeup makeup look. The product I'm going to use today is NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and this is shade in Santa Fe. If your skin is sensitive skin, do consider trying this foundation because the ingredient is very skin friendly. I'll put a reference here so you can really see how kind this is to the skin. I didn't purchase a foundation pump because I find the pump is kind of unnecessary while I can shake while my fingers is closing the lid. Um, so I'm made curious, isn't it unhygienic? Well, this product has um, preservatives and also you're not going to use the foundation for 10 years, isn't it? So I don't really care. And anyway, I'm going to start applying this foundation first on my cheek area using my fingers. You can of course use a brush, but if you use a finger adding one to the skin, it'll adhere perfectly. It'll adhere more and more and more and more and more. So this foundation is on this area right now and my center cheek and my nose area is not concealed at all but don't worry I'm gonna use this foundation first on my cheek and my finger has barely a foundation and then I'm gonna move on to inner side of my face but I'm just keep patting and patting and patting pushing into your skin keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing this is the technique how you can really adhere the foundation onto your skin 100% perfect so your skin looks more flawless and flawless and flawless while looking still very 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 natural and invisible because if you just use a sponge then it'll keep add layer and layer and layer and layer but this step is actually layering once layering twice and once will melt them together so it sits very well on the skin so you're kind of creating second skin is it makeup or is it skin kind of vibe and if someone come and ask you oh what foundation you're using then you're failed and I'll probably need a little bit more product so I'm gonna take a little bit more product about um, about a couple of shakes on my finger warm up the products once again don't forget to warm up the product and I'm gonna just keep warm up the product and see if it's even on your fingertip or not this is very important you're not just gonna scoop it up and on your face and also starting from the side of my lips as you can see keep pushing in anyway we're gonna use a concealer later because I cannot 100% conceal everything by using just a one foundation and when you choose a foundation try to find the shade that matches with your skin perfectly so once you put it on your skin it should be invisible I just shaved so uh, my chin is slightly ready right now and also I have a lot of redness on my nose because I squeezed uh, white hairs a couple of days ago so it's still very red so this foundation will not concealing or get rid of those redness 100% so I'll need to use concealer later and I'm gonna show you how to conceal them like invisible so this is one of the way to create perceptible makeup and I have some redness right here then you can really melt this foundation into your skin and at this step most of your flaws will, get, will be concealed by now but I can still see some redness here and some redness on my t-zone around my nose and here the spots and spots to conceal them you'll need to use a concealer and concealer has to be exactly the same shade as your skin and also if you have a blemish try to use a shade that is slightly darker than your skin 
Okay, let me put on a clip on my hair because it's so messy. I'm going to use this NARS Radiant Cream Concealer. If you have a very severe redness or discolorations, then try to use a creamy concealer that has more higher coverage. You can consider trying this Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage or NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. These are full coverage concealer that can conceal your discolorations 100% perfectly. And then, anyway, I'm going to use uh, brushes. This is a um, calligraphy brush. There is like a watercolor brush and this is a pedal flat brush that is a very usual suspect. You can find this kind of shape everywhere. To conceal, I'm going to use this brush, pigmentation just right here, this area. But actually you're not really dabbing the right on the spot because if you dab right on the spot, you're actually taking the products away. So you'll need to dab on the around those edges of the concealer and also this kind of breakouts we cannot physically lay them flat if let's say this is skin like my breakouts here the breakout is actually prominent and we cannot physically lay this down because that is technically impossible so you'll probably want to use a darker color concealer to conceal this spot so it looks like it's laying down although it's really physically prominent like bulging but by using a contouring technique you can actually lay them flat but if you use a lighter color than your complexion like your under eye concealer or highlighting concealer this prominent but bulging blemish or skin breakout is actually more prominent because you highlight it so use contour technique to lay this flat like just a minor flaw then of course you can use a concealer that works for your skin universally maybe my scar these scars I'll need to use a lighter color to highlight this area because this is already a furrow so I'll need to use a lighter color to highlight it back so it looks at least a flat surface but I'm not gonna do that I, like, I kinda like this scar and you keep warm the products up and knock this product and see if this even on your fingertip or not it has to be even on your fingertip otherwise you're gonna make mistake because you're putting it just too much lightly dab it on on this area where you want to conceal i'm gonna use this nars soft matte complete concealer shade in ginger on this area i actually use custard medium one but on this area i might use a medium two ginger because anyway it's a pyramid of my face and do remember where you concealed earlier. I have concealed here, on my nose, on my chin, and some of this area. So I'm gonna use a powder to powder them. I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid highlighter. This is a illuminating um, liquid highlighter, shade in passion. So I'm just gonna dab it gently on my cheekbone, where the, where the light hits naturally. Even after I use powder, my skin looks hydrated and also lightly on inner corner of my eye and lower eye so it can kind of bounce the light back and you're not using too much product so it doesn't look oily it looks like your skin is well hydrated and also well treated whatever left on your fingertip here towards your under eye area once this area is glowing it looks like your skin is very well hydrated, like expensive skin. Skin looks expensive now. And the next product I'm going to use is Innisfree Mineral Pact. This is one of the very affordable powder compact that you can find in the market and the quality is pretty good. I'm just going to use a powder puff. Take some product and just make sure you always rub this powder puff very well and make sure the powder puff lay like this so we're gonna use this side here so it can be more precise and more precision see it's not too complicated not too um, not too much technique involved it just keep patting knocking dabbing pushing into the skin very easy steps and easy technique to natural skin.
skin, no makeup makeup look. And even if even after I use a powder, you can still see this area is reflecting the light back and looks like my skin is naturally hydrated. Usually if I finish this skin makeup step, I just draw my brows and put a little bit of lip balm on, then I'll just rather go outside. And if you wanna put some more products, then of course you can, why not? We can move on to a powder blush. For blush, I'm going to use this powder blush from NARS, shade in Exhibit A. And as you can see in the pen, the color is really vivid, it's really powerful color. But don't get scared by this color because I'm going to use very light fluffy brush. This is a brush from MAC 137. It's like a very light and airy brush. And I'm going to pick up just lightly. And a very light pen. Place it where you usually get a blush. For me, I usually get blushed on my front cheek. Next, eyebrows. I'm going to actually use an um, LB eyebrow pencil. I don't know if this is a uh, available brand in Singapore, but uh, whatever. You can still find something similar products that has a brush at a tip and also a thin eyebrow pencil. In the middle, there's an eyebrow powder. I always use the powders in the middle here because the powder looks really natural. I'm just gonna follow my natural eyebrow shape. So it's just enhancing my brows. I'm not gonna define them or I'm not gonna put too much product. It's just filling in the gap. So this is Secret to the Universe of No Makeup Makeup Look. as natural as possible. However, you can actually add a little bit of more color or the products on the inner eyebrow. Let me show you how. I'm going to use this Laura Mercier eyebrow pencil shade in Brunette. I'm gonna just lightly shade my inner eyebrow. So the inner eyebrow remains a little bit deep and slightly more defined, but outer eyebrow remains very thin and light just as natural as possible. And I think I made a little bit of mistakes here in the inner corner of my eyebrow, just right here. Then don't worry, you can always go back to an artist friend, every makeup artist friend, cotton bud, or you can go back to the concealer brush. So you can really tell the brush, be your dear. Can you correct this? I can correct. Very nice brush. And next, maybe a lip balm or a very light lipstick. But if you don't have very light lipstick, you, there's, a, uh, there's a trick you can really um, use all the time. I, I'll show you an example. Ruby Woo is one of the very popular shades for MAC and this is known for a perfect bluish red color. So I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna just take some product, even on your fingertip, just like you're applying foundation. See, it's already very healthy looking color. Looking more lively, I would say. Like you just beaten your lips naturally. And don't put too much product, just adding a hint of color. Like hint, hint, hint of color. And lastly, this is additional tip. If you want to contour your face or bronze your face, then of course you can use a product. However, well, I wouldn't usually bother to contour my face when I go for natural makeup or no makeup makeup, but there's many different cases. So I'm gonna use this Laguna bronzing powder from NARS. And this is a MAC 182 Kabuki brush. So there's a product on this brush. Start from the pyramid of the face, really from the hairline, just lightly blending this product with a circular motion. And by now you can start to see some contour product on the side of my face, but this is not it. I really want the invisible contour. I'm going to use this mineral pact from Innisfree and the Kabuki brush again. I'm gonna take a little bit of powder and blend those edges to make it really seamless and invisible and perfectly blend it. So this is Secret to the Universe of how to create a no makeup makeup look.